What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Next Moon YT channel. As always, please subscribe, click on that notification bell, and share these videos with your friends. Let's help this channel grow to 10,000 subscribers. So today I have a big treat for you. Today I have a little product review with you and an installation. And what we're going to review today are LED light strips. So in front of me, I have one from the company Poltix. I got this from Amazon. Uh, the only difference from the regular light strips you see is these are cob light strips. Cob stands for chip on board. So the difference of these LED strips from other ones are that it's a little brighter and the bulbs, LED light bulbs are more condensed. So you get a more uniform lights instead of the ones where you see a light and then a little spacing and a light, a little spacing and a light. These are more uniform in the light output. So this is from Poltix. So let's open up this box and see what we get. I am not sponsored by Poltix. I bought this with my own money. So from the front of the box, we see that it has 50,000 hours of use. Safe, meaning it won't burn you. It's dimmable and it's super bright. Let's see what we get inside. Here we go. Okay, first off, we get the spool of LED lights by the company Poltix. And it says, do not roll up when using. So they want us to take it out of the spool before we turn it on. So this is the spool. Uh, I bought the model that has about 20 feet of LED lights. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. So we got all these LEDs in here. And these are spliceable. So you can cut these in half near these copper connectors uh, as you need them. Do not cut them in between. Only on these copper connectors where it's uh, indicated here's a close up of it so we have 20 feet of this led light strip to apply so let's put this on the side let's see what else is in this box so we have i guess the controller uh this is a remote control uh, model so we have a remote control receiver this is the white box you see here we'll put that inside we have a remote itself so this is a quite a small remote here's the size of my hand uh, the remote is a little flimsy feeling um, but I guess it will do we have several features and options. We have the light button. We have the brightness control. We have the brightness amount in preset amounts, 100%, 50%, and 25%. And we have some mode to change the different light modes, basically, and the speeds of the lights. Okay, so there's a small little receiver. Uh, has a replaceable battery it looks like you just pull this release tab and let's go let's keep going so we have some instructions <clears throat> let's get this out of the bag so we have some basic instructions for the wireless remote here we go and here also on the feature has a dynamic mode, has a speed adjust, and it has brightness adjust, a dimmer. Okay, and here are all the features. I'm not going to read all that to you. And we have a piece of double-sided 3M tape. I believe this is for, yep, this would go here and you can stick this remote on a wall if you like. Okay, or you can just, you know, keep it around on the desk or something. Okay, so now we have the power source. Here we go. And it looks like we have a good amount of cable. 
and he has a connector and this is the other side of the power source cable so it looks like it would just go in here like this and you got your whole power bar okay and you get your welcome card and your basic user manual it looks very thin uh, at least it's in English and here are instructions on how to do this connections and some features so we have a model one that's 18 feet long and we have a model two uh, which is 20 feet long I have the 20 feet long one and of course some warnings so so you don't hurt yourself and on the back we have what looks like I guess German maybe uh, leave it in a comment what language you think this is in I think it's German okay so that's it that's the whole box let's put these let's assemble this unit together okay so we have the end of the LED spool I believe these will go together let's as such the spool of LEDs will go to the remote receiver and then at the end of it we have another plug which would go into the end of this plug right and then that one will go into the power bar and the wire for the power bar will end with this connector to your outlet in your wall okay so that's pretty simple enough the only disappointing feature that was missing i believe was a connector for the corners when you want to bend the led at a right angle so i had to buy this kit myself uh it's also by portex it's about 10 bucks uh, it comes with an extra end connector and a couple of additional wires that you would connect uh, if you need to make a right angle and these are the little uh, clips that will hold in the connectors for you so what I mean is these LEDs they can bend this way however it cannot bend this way if you want you, it'll, it'll kink Right, so unfortunately, I have to make one twist that will be like this, and it'll kink the LED strips. That's why I needed this connector to do the transition. And I'll show you how it's done when I assemble it and install it on the walls. So the way I'll be installing it is underneath the cabinets, along the whole entire length of all these cabinets. As you can see, there's always a shadow that's cast from my overhead lights no matter if I turn on all or summer lights the shadows will always remain so I'm hoping to brighten up all these dark spaces and especially if you have dark countertops they tend to absorb all the lighting from your ceilings so it's gonna throw a lot more light and give the kitchen more workable lights so one thing you need to do before you start the installation of the LED lights are some alcohol wipes either in the bottle format or if you have these antiseptic uh, wet wipes you can use this what you want to do is just go underneath the edge of your cabinets and wipe them down make sure there's no grease nothing that will keep the uh, underside tape of the 3M tape from sticking on so let me show you a close-up the underside of these LED strips is just 3M tape so you want to make sure you clean everything underneath there where you would you intend to stick the LED light strip to make sure it's not greasy and it's all clean so let's do this
So the next step is just to take your LED strip and take off the back 3M tape a little bit at a time. And what you want to do is face the tape up. So it'll be attached to the underneath of your cabinet against the wall. So your tape will be against the underside of the cabinet, not against the wall. It'll be taped to the underside of the cabinet. And you will follow the length of where you want the lights to go all the way down. So once you reach the end of the wall or, your, or the underside of your cabinet, you will need to cut these LED strips only at these indicators, these copper colored uh, indicators with the lines on it. So if your cabinet ends here, you have to cut it shorter even. So it will be the previous uh, indicators, the, the copper uh, areas. So there's a black line that goes down in between the copper slots and that's where you would cut them. Okay? Let's get this installed. All right, so I've ran all the LED light strip beneath the cabinets and actually also around the exhaust all the way to the other end. So that's what, let's see what it looks like. So here's what the room looks like with the normal lighting in the kitchen. And now I'm going to turn on the lights. That looks awesome. I can see a lot more. The light is pretty consistent. The flickering you see is only because of the video camera recording. In real life, you don't see any of the flickering. It's a steady light and the light is very condensed and I love it. Check it out. So this is going to add a lot more brightness to the room, especially uh, if you have a black countertop like this kitchen has. And let me shut off the light to see what it looks like without any lights on except for the LED light strip. That looks nice. So even at night, you can just turn on the LED lights just to get some uh, food or something from your kitchen without turning on all the lights. So here are the examples of the light modes. This is on 100%. Let's try 50. That's 50%. This is 25%. So you can set the mood settings in your kitchen area. And you can manually control the brightness if you don't want the preset amounts. So I'm going to increase it slightly. So this is probably nearing 50%. Okay, so I'll put it back on 100%. And now we have some mode settings. Wow, so you can have a disco party in your kitchen if you want. Let's try in the next mode. It's a slower strobe light. And now it's more of a blinking light. This is more of a, I guess a lightning effect or something. So this is more of a strobe, kind of what you see on the police, uh, I guess, lights. Here's more of a, I guess, a, a thundering mode, I guess I'll call this. And this is a fast, small blip. And this is a quick blip. And this is even a quicker blip. So you have all these modes to choose from, and we're back to the full-on lights. And this is 100%. So I hope you like this demo. So I love this little mod for your little kitchen. This is not very hard to do. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just follow the steps I showed you. And there's are many brands of LED lights out there. The one I have are the COB lights, which are the circuit, I mean the chip on board lights. They're the newer models and they're a little more brighter. And they are a little more cost uh, they, have to co they cost a little more, but I think they're worth it. So please like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. So I'll see you on the next video.